Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black Sea, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about the Crypto.com Crow Coin Burn because, well, guys, we've gotten a little bit of a response from Crypto.com, and we want to take a look at that. Do we think that this Crypto.com burn is going to happen? Well, this conversation is just getting started. So hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop into this video. So guys, first thing is first here. Over on Crypto Twitter, you can follow me at 333 Black C. We are on day 67, proposing Crypto.com market buyback and burn Crowcoin with a percentage of quarterly profits. This is what the Kronos ecosystem needs. Yes, it does. The volume is low. We need to bring some speculation into the market. And this is what the Crow fam can achieve. We will start this conversation, guys. And you know what happened today, guys? Well, we started that conversation. Crypto.com posts on their main Twitter page that has over 2 million followers on it. What does it mean to burn crypto? Guys, the Crow fam came together and we got behind this message. This message is it's not just me. It's all of the Crow fam, all you guys. We came together and we are starting this conversation. This is how it's done. The Crow fam is strong together, guys. And you're seeing proof of it right now in real time. So, what is this post that Crypto.com put out? They gave a little bit of an article. Let me emphasize, they said, find out why it's done and the long-term implications here. The long-term implications. We're going to talk about that. So they posted. They post an article. They're, they're listening to the Kronos community, guys. They are listening to you and I. They are listening to the Crow fam. And they should be. First of all, I want to commend them for that. That is a big green flag. I'm very happy. All I was asking for is to start this conversation, and now we are headed in that direction. So, let's take a look at this article, shall we? What does it mean to burn crypto? Token burns explained. Only took 67 days to get acknowledged, but hey, that's okay. That's okay, guys. And we're in very, very quiet times. Volume is low, but this is what we need right now, and it's very, very good sign that Crypto.com is posting this because, let's be honest here, we've been seeing a lot of divide between Crypto.com and Kronos Labs. We've been seeing a lot of divide. And for me, this is just a little, little sparkle in the distance that says, hey, we're Crypto.com and we hear the Kronos community and we care about the Kronos community. So let's pick this apart a little bit. First things first. This is a pretty big article, so I have a few different sections I want to go over. First off, they talk about different types of burns. But what is the burn that we're talking about? What is the best burn to drive speculation, bring volume to the, to the chain, and really make the value of the price go up? A buyback and burn, guys. In this method, the project buys back tokens from the open market and then burns them. This can be seen as a way to reinvest in the project and directly impact the token's market dynamics by reducing the supply. Reinvest in the project. Reinvest in the project. Very important, guys. Not only will it drive speculation from people that want to make money on the supply decreasing, so supply and demand, simple economics, it is a show to show investors and outside, maybe soon-to-be investors, that Crypto.com supports their project and their product, and they're willing to put money into it and benefit the early investors, the early adopters, the people that have put Kronos on their shoulders, you guys, the Crow fam. It's a very good thing, guys. It's a very good thing. We want this buyback and burn. And I can't believe we're actually going over this article right now that was posted. It's a very good sign. So now let's talk about the challenges and criticisms of burns. Okay, guys? You know, they had to put this in because let's be honest. Let's get down to, to brass tacks here. Do I think that they will implement a crow coin burn 
a quarterly crow coin burn with a percentage of quarterly profits from the Crypto.com main app. I think that the chances of that happening are slim. That being said, I think that there's still a chance. And I also think that just by everybody coming together on this issue, on the Kronos volume being low, the separation from Crypto.com and Kronos Labs, everyone kind of huddling up and talking about this, it's priceless. It's priceless for the chain, guys. It's very, very priceless. This can set Crypto.com up to do great, great things and set your crow coin to do very, very great things. So let's talk about the challenges. While token burns offer several benefits, they are not without challenges and criticisms. It is essential to consider these aspects to have a balanced understanding of the practice. So, I get why they're saying that. Crypto.com is the most regulated cryptocurrency exchange in the entire world. Okay? They don't want to lose that spot. They don't want a black mark. They don't want that demerit on their reputation. They don't. They have massive, massive partnerships in the world. UFC, Formula Racing, the World Cup, okay? They have massive partnerships. They don't want to lose those partnerships. And yes, sure, they may have contracts, but I guarantee you there's a clause in there. The second that uh, that uh, partnership creates any bad rep on those partners... They'll get dropped. Crypto.com will get dropped. And I understand that. I've been in the business world for a very, very long time in my life. And uh, I understand how some of these contracts can go. And I understand how important it is for branding and reputation to be clean. Squeaky, squeaky clean. I understand that. And Crypto.com is doing a fantastic job at that. They are worried about regulation. I understand that. We're in very, very uncertain regulatory times when it comes to cryptocurrency. I understand that. So they talk about market manipulation concerns. Guys, I want you to be kind of a reading between the lines here with this article because really there's truth hidden inside of these little excerpts of words, okay? Market manipulation concerns, aka what I read when I see that is they don't want the SEC to come after them for doing a crow coin market buyback and burn. Should the SEC go after them? No, if they were to do that. But we all know how the SEC has been operating over the past few years, and I understand their concern. I understand it. Token burns can be seen as a form of market manipulation as they directly influence the supply, potentially the price of the cryptocurrency. Obviously, yes, if you market buyback and burn crow coin, the price is going to go up. It's going to drive speculation in the market on top of the supply getting cut, okay? It's going to bring it, – it's not market manipulation, but it can be read as that. It can be read as that. But it's just the same fact of is a stock buyback market manipulation. Fortune 500 companies do it every day. They buy back the stock to raise the price, to gain more ownership of their own company. It's the same thing. But maybe they're not burning the shares, but they're just tucking them away in the bank. So maybe it's a little bit different. Critics argue that burns can create artificial scarcity and may not always reflect the true value of utility of the token. Furthermore, insiders aware of token burns before public disclosures could disproportionately benefit. Sure, that's sure, that's true, that's true. But, uh, Really, you can say that about everything. I mean, there's always going to be insiders. There's always going to be the people that say, hey, yes, we're going to do the crow coin burn. Let me just buy $10 million of the crow right now. But that comes down to morals. That comes down to insider trading. And yes, insider trading is a little bit more difficult to understand in the cryptocurrency space than in the equity world. But I get it. I get it. I still kind of think that they shouldn't really worry about it, but it is a multi-billion dollar company. They are more than just CrowCoin, and they've been distancing themselves from Kronos Labs. Crypto.com has. So they're playing a game. They don't want to ruin that all, all this distancing. They don't want to do that for nothing, guys. They don't want to do that for nothing. Short-term versus long-term impact, okay? 
The effects of token burns can be short-lived, if not part of a broader sustainable strategy. While burns can create immediate price increases, they may not have a lasting impact if the underlying project lacks solid fundamentals and continuous development. Guess what Crowcoin doesn't lack? Solid fundamentals and continuous development. But I'll tell you what, if there isn't volume that drives into this chain, that continuous development will go goodbye. And I'll tell you what, those solid fundamentals, one of my solid fundamentals in investing in Crypto.com Crowcoin was what I just said, Crypto.com. And if Crypto.com is distancing, them, distancing themselves from Kronos Labs, well, that's one of my fundamental reasons why I invested in this project. Why would I continue to invest in them? Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you guys to sell your Crowcoin or buy Crowcoin, but I'm telling you my opinion and my thoughts on Crypto.com and Kronos Labs, and Crowcoin, the child of the mother and the father that are that is getting passed back and forth. We'll say that. Transparency and trust issues. For token burns to be effective, transparency is crucial. I agree with that. But I really do think that if they were to do a Crowcoin burn, they should just say, okay, we're doing it now. And there should be no hemming and hawing and saying, hey guys, we're going to do a Crowcoin burn. I know that you want to capitalize on the PR, but I think it should be a snap of a finger. It would drive so much speculation in the market, and uh, I think Crowcoin would benefit significantly from it. Traders need to trust that the burns are conducted as announced and that the project team is acting in the best interests of the ecosystem. Yeah, Basically, not just trying to pocket the, the coins. They need to actually see that they're getting burned. Any perceived lack of transparency can lead to skepticism and reduce the positive impact of the burns. Sure, I guess, uh, but I, I will say, you guys, you really need to be reading between the lines here. I think this is all about uh, regulatory compliance, and that's what this is kind of telling me. I, I'm trying to envision that this is a conversation I'm having with Crypto.com, and they're saying, when I'm reading between the lines, we don't want to get sued. We don't want a black mark on our reputation. Yes, we hear you. Yes, we want Crowcoin to do well, but we have our hands tied right now. That's kind of what I'm reading this. They're not going to come out and say that because, well... I think a lot of Crowcoin investors would not be very happy to hear something like that. So, the conclusion. The conclusion. Cryptocurrency token burns are a powerful tool that can influence the value and dynamics of digital assets. Yes, they can. We see we see burn we see market buyback and burns happen on a lot of meme coins. But we also see it on utility coins. We see it on Tron. We see it on Binance, BNB. They did quarterly burns with profit from Binance. They did that. By reducing the total supply of a token, burns can help control inflation, increase scarcity, and enhance trader confidence. I really want to touch in on enhancing trader confidence, okay? When a company buys back their stock, they're saying to you, hey, we want that more than you want that. We're going to buy it, and we're going to buy it at market value. Because we think it's worth more than the market value price right now. Remember that. They play a crucial role in tokenomics of many projects helping to build a healthy and sustainable ecosystem. Okay, positives. All right, now they're going to hit us with the, with the negatives. However, it is essential to approach token burns with a clear understanding of their benefits and potential drawbacks. Transparency, strategic planning, and a focus on long-term sustainability are key to maximizing the positive impact of token burns. As the cryptocurrency market continues to evolve, token burns will remain an important aspect of managing and optimizing the value of digital assets. Guys, there is, I believe, a 30 billion crow coin. Uh, they definitely could market buyback and burn a percentage of that every quarter, and um, there would be no issues. There'd be no issues outside of regulations and the SEC and hurting their brand name. And that's okay. Maybe we don't see a Crowcoin burn soon, but I wouldn't be surprised if we hear more about it. And I do think that just because we got this little conversation doesn't mean the conversation started, emphasis on started, doesn't mean that I'm going to drop this, doesn't mean that the Crow fam should drop this. We need to hear more. We need to talk with Crypto.com. We need to talk with Chris Marzlek. We need to talk with Kronos Labs. 
and voice our concerns and say, hey, why are you guys distancing Crypto.com and Kronos Labs? I know you're two separate entities, but Crypto.com backs Crowcoin. Why are you guys separating? What's going on with that? You're really worried about the regulation that much? Okay, can we expect any world in the future, near future, that we come closer and become one more? more? Because a fundamental reason why people buy Crowcoin is because Crypto.com. Not just because Kronos Labs. Sure, people use Kronos Labs, but the volume is drying up. I saw a $1.3 million 24-hour volume the other day. Guys, that's nothing. That's nothing. You see Solana, and I know I know Kronos Labs isn't a Solana or an Ethereum, but Solana sometimes will have a $5 billion day. Just something to keep in mind. So I responded to this tweet, and I said, this is just the beginning of the conversation that the Crow fam deserves. Crypto.com is listening to the Kronos community. Yes, they are. And if you guys are listening, Crypto.com, thank you. Thank you for listening. We are your supporters. We want Crowcoin and Kronos Labs to do well. We want Crypto.com to do well. Just listen. Just keep your ears open to us. Just keep, just keep listening. And a little bit of dialogue would be fantastic. I think that's not too much to ask for. So when we look at the Crowcoin price right now, we're breaking below very, very key support. Below 0 0.0830 cent level. Now, granted, the market is in a very, very shaky time. We're in September. It's a bearish month. We're starting to break down. I think we'll probably end up somewhere around this 0 0.0689 cent level, this blue line right here. Maybe we wait. Maybe, they, maybe they're waiting to announce a Crowcoin burn until the bull market. We're, we're back in bull market territory. We've been consolidating for seven months, guys. Uh, it's still around $60,000, but basically feels like a bear market. The sentiment feels like a bear market. And I know that Crypto.com have been involved since back in the MCO days. And one of their their MO is we announce great news when the prices are pumping. It's as simple as that. And that's a good way. It's a good way to uh, really capitalize on price movement. But I will also say the best time and the most effective time for marketing in any business is when it's quiet and nobody's listening because then you have the entire market share for that marketing. The other companies aren't yapping while you're yapping. Just something to keep in mind. You'll really get some of the really, really hardcore cryptocurrency investors. Just my two cents. So the overall crypto market, Bitcoin 58000 we're trading sideways here, making a little bit of a price movement to the upside after a big wick down to 56000 below $57,000. Guys, Crypto.com is listening, and we can do this. The Crow fam together is strong, and I'm really proud of what we've done. And I think that if we continue to come together, Crypto.com will be great. Crowcoin will see new all-time highs. And Kronos Labs will thrive. That's all I got for you guys. If you like this type of content, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. Share this video. Let's keep this message going. I'm not going to stop, guys. We are on day 67. I'm not going to stop. We're going to keep having this dialogue. We're going to keep talking about this. We're going to talk about this with Crypto.com, Chris Marzalek, Kronos Labs. We're going to do it, guys. If you want to take advantage of some fantastic links in the description box below and in the pinned comment, we have a $5,000 sign-in bonus to Blowfin, $4,100 sign-in bonus to Femex. All you get is click those links, deposit, trade a little bit, get a bunch of free money. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. Bye-bye.